All right, so I wanted to get into this right quick. So I just got done watching season two of HBO's Winning Time, The Rise of the Los Angeles Lakers Dynasty. And overall, it was an entertaining series. But then come to find out that HBO is canceling the show and they will not be having a season three. So technically, this was the series finale of the Showtime Lakers move forward and to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed and pissed off about it because uh, what a horrible way to end a, a pretty decent show I was fairly entertained by the show it has some good plot points interesting characters and it showed you how the rise of the Lakers to see how they built up from scratch or how they got to where they are but now that the show is ending and that they end the show off with the Lakers losing in the 1984 finals to their rivals Boston Celtics which is just a horrible horrible ironic way to end the show the show is literally called Winning Time and your last episode is you guys losing in the 1984 finals to your arch rivals Boston Celtics with Larry, Larry, John, Larry Bird winning the championship and Magic Johnson crying in the showers. And the fact that the whole, the whole season two was leading up to the 1984 finals to end on this point is was makes it more disappointing because I mean again this is history, proving history. We already know what happened and stuff like that, but still. For you to end the show like that, I don't know how soon that they knew that they were canceling the show because rumors had it that they it was trying to see if they have a season three, but I guess because the viewership for the HBO television show were cut in half, that they decided to cancel and scrap the series entirely. So that was the ending of the show. Now granted, after the 84 finals, they did a, like a montage of the, you know, the rest of the history from 85 onward to 1991, etc. Showing the Lakers winning championships, etc. And, you know, what happened to Magic Johnson getting HIV, etc. And towards life, but still, that was just, that was just a, a horrible disappointment. And, to a decent TV show, it wasn't a, it wasn't the best TV show. There were some things that were exaggerated points, but it gave you a glimpse of how things were during the eighties of that time and how the team operated under uh, Jim Buss and the Lakers. Seeing characters like Jerry West, uh, Paul Westhead, Matthew Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, seeing those guys interact with each other, it was an interesting way to see it because. We don't know how things happen behind the scenes. We just see what they show us on TV. And we always see Magic Johnson smiling, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar brooding. But we got to see emotions. We got to see how they feel. We got to see what type of players that they were, you know, during their time when they were, you know, at the apex of their peak. But, again, that was a horrible, disappointing end to the show to figure out that they're not going to have a season three so they kind of had to scrap it and end the show off like that was just horrible. So, read from this article, um, Esquire.com. So, it shows that um, HBO treated its viewers to a bizarre surprise. So, it turned out that Sunday night's, quote, Sunday night's uh, finale of Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, was the series finale mere moments after the episode was wrapped up. HBO announced that the cancellation of the sports drama, which is based on the Showtime era Lakers. And it said, quote, not the ending that we had in mind. The co-creator Max Borstein shared on social media, but nothing but gratitude and love. So I could tell that he was even disappointed at what had happened as regards to it. But again, there's nothing he could do about it. It's not his fault that the show's getting canceled. It's just the lack of viewership from HBO Max so they just got to scrap it but I just felt like if you guys were to have season 2 as the series finale then they could have edited they could have done that season a lot more justice 
into getting it a proper send off so that way, you know, it could have ended a little bit more better. Now, granted, I know they probably was thinking who was going to get four or five seasons of winning time. Most likely, how it was moving so fast, it probably was going to end probably in four seasons. But still, to end the show just off like that was brutal, heartbreaking. While seeing them lose the 84 finals in seven games to the Boston Celtics on the on the Boston Celtics home floor, I know they feel some type of way about that. So that was, you know, ugh. if you're a Lakers fan, and I'm pretty sure if you were a Boston fan during that time, you were ecstatic and happy seeing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar get to a tussle. Somebody just jumped and grabbed on him. It was like crazy. I can't imagine the times during that day. In the 80s, where you know all the whole craziness was going on between the rivalry between Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers going down from Boston to LA, back and forth, back and forth. So that was interesting to see, but again, that was just a horrible ending to a, a decent series that I felt like could have had a lot of potential, but I guess the viewership wasn't there, so they, I guess they just decided to scrap the series as a whole. I guess my favorite characters of this the series overall was Pat Riley and Jerry West. I felt like I've seen a lot of character development from those two guys from the beginning of season one and till now to season two. Um, just, it just let me know that the organization as the Lakers, how they presented themselves, everything wasn't as buttoned up as it, they try to proceed to, to be. But, you know, there was a lot of arguing back and forth, yelling, trying to make the team better. Um, locker room tension, routine trade like Norm Nixon and Magic Johnson, etc. Stuff like that that was going on that made this show way interesting that it, it should have. And, again, as we as fans, we don't see this stuff like that. So, to get a glimpse of how it was in the locker room, it was a great to see. And I really enjoyed it. You see how things played out. You see how characters interacted with each other. It's a shame that the show is over and they're not going to have a season three or onward, but it is what it is. It was a decent ride. It was just a disappointing ending to the ride overall. And just from reading the, the, you know, a little bit of the article that I just read, I could tell that the co-creator was disappointed as well, too, in terms of how he wanted to end the series. And obviously, he, I know he didn't want to end the series just like that, but again, he... There's nothing he could do. They feel decided to axe this series, so he only could do so much. So it is what it is. Um, those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter as regards to HBO's winning time. But let me know yours in the comment section down below. This Edo speaks out. Peace.